In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about a file shredder and the need for one. For those of you that don't know, when you delete a file on Windows, um, you're not actually deleting the file. What you're doing is you're telling the operating system that you no longer desire to keep that um, disk space reserved for that particular file. And so what you're saying to the operating system is, next time you need space to save something, it's okay to go ahead and take this space. And that space is wherever your file used to occupy on the hard drive. So essentially, the the file hasn't ever, ever actually been removed off your computer, but what it's doing is it's letting the OS overwrite it if it needs it later on. So what what you can do is you can actually use a, a forensic software and you can go into a hard drive and you can recover anything that's been supposedly deleted which is where file shredder comes in file shredder what it does is it shreds any file that you don't want you can permanently delete files but what it does is because you, you can never actually delete something off of a hard drive, um, what it does is it overwrites it several times, so the file underneath essentially is written over so many times that it's unrecoverable. Uh, this is referred to as shredding or destroying unwanted files. And we're going to go over the file shredding software because I really like it and it's free. The, um, the developer of File Shredder believes File Shredder, um, or uh, I'm shredding your files, should be uh, a basic right to your privacy. So, anyway, go ahead and click the download link right here. And then uh, go ahead and install it. And then we're going to talk about using it. So, this is what it looks like. Um, instead of dragging your files to be deleted into your recycle bin, okay, right here, what you want to do is you want to add files to the shredder. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new document just for the purpose of this tutorial so I can show you guys how I shred files. The first thing I like to do is go to Shredder Settings and what I'll go to is algorithms and if you notice um, there's different degrees of security one pass, two passes um, DOD seven passes or the Gutman algorithm which is 35 passes I just do 35 passes because 35 passes to me means more secure okay so go ahead and hit OK what we're going to do is we're going to add files to the shredder. So we're going to go to desktop and we're going to take this new text document and we're going to shred this. In fact, let's add something else. Let's add let's add this file because that was a picture from one of my videos and I no longer need it. So let's shred these files. Hit OK. And as simple as that, those files are gone. And for all intents and purposes, they're never coming back. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions. And